Uh, you're building an API that needs authentication. Laravel Sanctum handles tokens the simple way. Today we're looking at Laravel Sanctum, Laravel's lightweight authentication package for SPAs, mobile applications, and simple token-based APIs. Unlike Laravel Passport Full of 2 Server, Sanctum is designed for first-party applications, so when you control both the front end and the back end. Let's take a look together. So in this application, we have already installed and set up Sanctum here. And we can see this already here on the user model that we have already used the trait here, which is called has API tokens, which comes from level Sanctum here. And if we take a look at this create, it will give us a bunch of methods here in order to work with our tokens, like create a token, get the current one, if the user was already authenticated with a specific token, um, yeah, checking if a token can something specific and so on. So this means here when I get here my first user and I'm checking if this user has some tokens here, we can see that we get an empty collection here back because this user doesn't have any tokens yet. So let's just create a new one, create token here and let's give this a name. So we need to give it a name. So let's call this maybe just my app because I need this for my application and we will get back here an access token. But let's also check this out inside the database here where we now have this personal access tokens table, which is a migration that came with Sanctum. And if we take a look, we can see we have here now this token with a specific type. In our case, it's a user, but this could also be on a team or an organization and so on. Then we have the name, then the token itself, and also interesting abilities. So tokens can have abilities. In this case, it's just the star here in the array of stars, which just means we grant this token all the permissions that there are. And when it was last used, expires and so on. So as you've seen, it's just quite simple while using a straight here and the migrated table, which comes from Sanctum here, you can already start creating and managing your tokens. And now that everything is set up and working, let's see if we can make some use of those tokens. Again, we're going to start here by creating a new token for my current user, and you can see we get this back. But what's important to know is here that we need to access the plain token, which we get here with this property, and you can see this is now our plain token. And I'm pretty sure you've seen this with many applications where you get access tokens. You will only see the plain version of this token once. You have to store it yourself. And inside the database, it's not this token, this plain text stored. It's the hashed version stored. So once you've retrieved it, there's no way again to get this from your database. And this also means we need to use this token here when we want to make a request to our API which we want to do like this. So we have our API movies endpoint here. We want to get our movies here and we should see that this is now protected. And yeah, we get an unauthorized response with a 401 code. This is forbidden because we don't have access because this endpoint is secured. So let's try this now again, but now with our token and level has this nice with token method here, which just adds this authorization bearer token header to our request here. And when we try this now again, this should work. We get an okay back 200 response. And if we chain here another JSON method, we will also see the data, which are our movies here in this case. Perfect. So we've successfully used the token in order to get access to this API endpoint. But there's one more thing I would like to show you. We talked a little bit about abilities. So inside the database currently, what this creates is this here with all the abilities that there are. So this means we have access to everything, but now let's create a specific one and let's call this movies update, for example. So this is now the only ability that this token gets. So if we try to access this now again, we will get an exception here, invalid ability provided. So this means we are checking in our application if the user has a specific ability but it's not this one. So if we will change this to movies read, which is the one which we need for this endpoint here, you will see this is now back working and we get our movies here. And the way this works is that inside our API file where we have set up this endpoint, um, this one here, movies get, we have set up that we want to check for the abilities, movies read, and only if the user has these abilities, we will let them in. And before this, we also have this auth 
sanctum check here, which is also necessary here to make this work. And that's Lava Sanctum. You now have a simple, powerful way to authenticate your mobile apps, SPAs, or APIs. If you want to learn more, the documentation covers everything around SPA authentication, cookie-based sessions, token abilities for really fine-grained permissions, token expiration, and much more. So give it a look and have fun with Lava Sanctum.